Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? How's everyone doing today? This is Gregory Wiles coming live to you from Houston, Texas with this inspirational morning walk. For first time listeners, I just get some exercise in the morning, I walk a couple of miles around the neighborhood, and I just share my thoughts with you guys. What I'm, whatever I'm inspired to talk about that day. Mr. Osman Smith, good morning, sir, good morning. But today is a wet day. Like I said, the last two weeks we've been getting a lot of rain. It just stopped just enough so I can get some walking in. It's scheduled to rain again, but I can get in some walking until I, um, until it stopped me, if, if it stopped me before I'm finished what I'm doing. But yes, it's still gonna be still in 70s. Temperature-wise, it's still nice, just a little wet. But that's all good, Mr. Andrew Griffith. Thank you for watching. Yes, guys, so like I said, if you miss anything that we do, always check it out on YouTube. We have a lot of a lot of these little talks I do in the morning, motivate people, get them started off the day on the right way. I'm on, on, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7.30 um, Central Time. This is our time here in Texas, 8.30 Eastern. and whichever part you are you can calculate it from there but 7 30 central so yeah so this morning this morning what i want to talk about i can just jump into it before this rain come so this morning what i want to talk about is desire guys is desire desire that's that's a very very important word because lots of us want to be successful but we lack in the desire right that desire we lack in and let's look at the meaning of desire. Let's look at the meaning of desire. The noun says it's a strong feeling or wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. A strong feeling or will to have something. A strong feeling or the will to have something, right? So desire equals passion. Passion equals purpose. Purpose equals success, guys. So if you want to be successful, it all starts with the desire, the will. That hunger to, to want something, right? So let's go down a little bit and see what it said. It said, desire alone is not enough, but to lack desire means to lack a key ingredient to success because you see, it starts off with desire, then equal to passion, then go to purpose, then go to success. So if you lack desire, that means you lack a key ingredient to, su to, to, to success. Many talented individuals fail because they lack desire. Many victories have been snatched by the underdog because he wanted it more. So if you desire intensely and you act upon it, then everything stands within your reach, guys, right? So a lot of underdogs win in certain situations because they want it more. And in basketball, I know we, we do a lot of drills. And I know the college, I um, was listening to a college coach, and he said that's how they design a lot of the drills when they have these camps. They design the drills in such a way that the person with the most skill will not win it. If the person with the most skill is not a winner. Just who have more will, who got the desire, who wanted more is going to win over the person who has the skills. And that's what he's saying. Many talented individuals fail because they lack the desire, right? The hunger. I want it more than you because when it comes down to the last second, you got to want it more than me. A skill. We all play 40 minutes of that game. We both are tired, but who has that little more? Who has that extra to go after it? Like I tell the kids, you're going to finish as a tired winner or a tired loser. So who got the little more to go and get it, right? That's the desire, right? You do not succeed because you do not um, you do not succeed because you do not know what you want, but because you don't want it intensely enough. You don't want it intensely enough, right? That's why you're not going to succeed. You don't want it bad enough. What are you willing to do? Are you willing to do what is necessary to get the success? Now what? Not anything not just say i'm willing to do anything no no no. anything means you can do some bad stuff you can go and do some illegal stuff to get where you want that's now we're talking about what is necessary to get what you want right let's look at the next famous quote if you have the will to win you have achieved half of your success if you have the will to win you would achieve half of your success if you don't have the will to win you have achieved half of your failure we need to good morning. 
If you have the will to win, you have achieved half of your success. If you don't have the will to win, you achieve half of your failure, right? Let's look at this. Let's look at the scenario where desire come into play. Two, two, two men started off at the same job on the same day, said, um, same position, they're making a thousand dollars a month, right? They're making a thousand dollars a month. Um, the first man, he decide, okay, he just go home, he sleep, he just check in nine o'clock, leave work six o'clock, he go home and just go through the routine. The next man decide, you know what, I need some more in his little spare time rather than going home, he doing some classes, he studying, he trying to, you know, learn his job more. Let's fast forward 20 years down the line. The first man who just went home, come to work, just clock in, go home. He, just over the years of his increases, just making $1,400 a month, just increased by $400 over the 20 years. But the next man who had the desire, the will to give up, to sacrifice, to go the extra mile, to learn the trade, he, uh, he making about $50,000, $60,000 a month because he had more desire. Same position, same, they started out same time, 20 years down the line, the man with the more desire, the will to go on to achieve more, he's in a better position, right? So let's 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 take that scenario and bring it into a church situation, right? Let's take the scenario and bring it in church and we see what the scripture says about desire, right? Two Christians give the life to Christ the same day. One of them just going to church. How much of us you know like that? Um, as the song back in the days used to say, the, um, the, the, um, the reggae song, you're a one-day Christian, right? You're a one-day Christian, seven days a week, we're doing all type of wrong. And Sunday, dress up in our whites with Bible in our hand. Oh, Lord, you're a one-day Christian, right? How much people like to go to church, check the box, I go to church. Church is from 9 to 11, I go on Sundays, I check the box, I come back home, I said I did my duty, I make sure I'm keeping up with my tithing, I'm faithful with my tithing, church have a little fear, I send my little donation, or I go and support the fear, and, and that's it. And the next um, guy now, he want more, he want more, he finding out, he's studying the word when he go home, then he finding out about generational curses, he finding out how all about the unseen world, what Paul talk about, he find he's cleaning up his life, he's fasting, he's praying, and he's cleaning up his life who you think is gonna advance more who you think is gonna advance more and get more out of the Christian walk and get and hear what God said when you do that what's gonna happen let's look at Psalms 37 4 through 5 Psalms 37 4 through 5 says take delight in the Lord and we'll give you the desires of your heart so that thing you desiring Here's our way to get it. That thing that you're desiring and struggling so hard to get, hear what God's saying, how you're going to get it. He said, take delight in the Lord. Take delight in me. And he will give you the desires of your heart. So if you take delight in the Lord, right? Study his word. Understand the word. Like some of you do. I'm doing this for a year. And some of you listening listening um, to me, all, you know, all what I'm saying. Man, I sure, if you practice in what I'm saying, you get in the desires of your heart right now. Because the heart said, if you, if, you, if you take delight in him, right? No wonder why you respect fasting. We did fasting about two weeks ago. No wonder why you respect fasting that much. Because you taking the extra step. You willing to sacrifice. You willing to give up your food or, or food and water for a period of time. Because you want more. You saying, God, I need more. That's why you taking delight in him. You understand some people request you know about fasting gotta hear about it and they're doing it he's saying if you take delight in the lord man the desires of your heart so whatever you design right now you design for whatever your desire desires are he said you take delight in me and you get the desires of your heart then he repeated again let's go in proverbs 10 24. proverbs 10 24 where it's saying what the wicked dread will will overtake them there's the next whole next um, talk there. What the wicked dread will overtake them. What the righteous desire will be granted. What the righteous desire will be granted, guys. So people can tell you a lot of way how to get your success and how to get your heart's desire. But the Lord's saying, hey, I got a, I got a, I got a way for you that can guarantee you getting the success, getting the desires of your heart, whatever you desire. I say, I got a way, and here is the way. You, you force you take delight in me that's guaranteed you take delight in me 
because when you take delight in him, you can go understand his word because a lot of the things we desire or we're struggling to achieve is because a lot of the things we don't know what Paul talk about is unseen that's keeping us back. Where that fast and the prayer is going to break. Well, we don't know that. And we push and push and push and exhaust in ourselves. And we buying all of these books. We going to all of these classes. And yet still we can't get a breakthrough, right? But God said, if you take delight in me, I guarantee you the Holy Spirit can show you that you can get the knowledge and you can break those things, right? And you can get the desires of your heart. Let's see how we back this up in Matthew 6. Um, I'm going to read from 31 to 33, right? He says, so do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But here we said, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. So he's backing it up. He said, if you seek me first, if you seek me first, not just we saying here, all these things will be granted unto you. Now we're saying in Psalms 37. Four through five. If you take delight in the Lord, He will grant you the desires of your heart. So, guys, look, that's the first step. This desire is a serious word. You gotta have the will. You gotta want it. Whatever you want, you gotta go after it. It's like a young guy you tell, tell a guru. He was like, Man, I want to be successful just like you. The guru said, Okay, meet me um tomorrow morning at six o'clock. And they take him down by the um by the beach. He said, man, okay, I got to do what I got to do. I want to be successful. I want to know the secret to success. And the man take him in the water and they keep walking out, walking out, walking out till the, till the water get up to his shoulder. And then the guru push him under the water. And he started fighting, fighting up, fighting up. When he was on his last breath, then the guy let him up and he take that big breath. He said, what are you trying to do? You're trying to kill me? The man said, no, if I'm trying to kill you, it'll keep you down a little longer. But he said, if you want to be successful, you got to want it as bad enough as you wanted a breath when I took you up there. You got to want it that bad, right? So that's the desire. You got to go after it. When the going get tough, you can't, get, you can't quit because that's when you lack desire. You see, success is the end. The desire starts first. It's a desire equal to passion, then to purpose, then to success. But if you lack the desire, when the going get tough, you're going to quit. You're going to quit. And that's what God's saying. But you seek me. You take the, light in, take the light in the Lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart, guys. Guys, I can leave that there for you. But whatever you want, you got to go after it. You got to go after it. It's not going to come to you. You got to have the desire, the hunger, the will. It's not your talent. It's not your skill. Because a lot of talented and skillful people are failures right now a lot of talent and a lot of skills god bless them with but they're lacking the desire and they're not successful and the underdog who with less talent advancing right guys so i'm gonna leave that there hope that bless you this monday give you something positive to start off the day with we'll talk again on wednesday guys talk to you later goodbye